Well, hello, SNA 2107 students, and welcome to week seven here in the SNA 2107 learning community. This week, we're going to talk all about the assignments you have for the week, but also making sure that you know how to finish the term strong. First and foremost, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email the OAC team at oac at sna2.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. A couple of webinar reminders, this is an academic space. So always be mindful of your conduct in the learning community. These webinars are not mandatory. They're not graded. There's no extra credit points awarded, but hopefully you are learning um, the concepts and understanding your assignments from week to week, but also having a little bit of fun. So here before we dive into everything that's due for week seven, I wanted to ask you about assessing yourself. Do you know how to assess yourself? Do you know how to kind of take a minute and pause and do a little reflection or a self assessment of how things are going? If you don't, we're going to talk about that today. And if you do, this will be a little bit of a refresher. First and foremost, to do a self assessment, you have to ask yourself some hard questions. You have to remember to stay positive because sometimes the answers maybe might not be what we want them to be. <laughs> you have to remember the importance of communication and how taking action for your success will help you achieve your goal. So first, asking yourself the hard questions, those hard truths, I like to call them. I want you to take a minute and I want you just to think about this term, okay? For some of you, it is your first term ever in college. For some of you, you maybe have been out of school for a long time. <laughs> um, for some of you, this is your first class. Some of you, it might be your second or third class. But I want you to think for a minute, like what is one thing that you're super proud of yourself for this term? Okay, so I want you to think about that. This could be maybe you were able to get your assignments in on time. Maybe you did a really great job like balancing life like inside and outside the classroom. Maybe you're really proud of like the grades that you got. Maybe you're just like, I am still here and like that is a win. Um, whatever it is, I want you to write it down or like think about it to yourself, okay? The other thing I want you to do, so we got something that we are really, we did good, right? We're proud of. The other thing I want you to think like, what is something maybe you could do a little bit better? So for example, maybe you struggled with your writing mechanics or you're writing this term. So like maybe that's something you wanna work on. Or maybe you didn't get a chance to utilize any SNE2 resources. So maybe that's something you need to work on. Maybe you did not plan your time well, that happens. Um, and that's something we need to change. So I want you to think again about what you do well, what you're proud of, and then like what is something that like you could do better. Think about what you were strong in this term. Like what is something you're good at? What is something you need to improve upon? And then I want you to think like, what can I do? So for example, if you were somebody that struggled with your time management, before we get into the new term, we probably should figure out some kind of like an SNA2 study schedule or like a to-do list, right? Um, or maybe you struggled with your writing. Maybe we could use the academic support written feedback tool. Okay, it's so like, what can you do? Who can help you? Maybe things academically went awesome, but outside the classroom, maybe work was really crazy, or maybe you thought you were going to have some help at home and you really didn't. So you need to kind of sit down and have those conversations about like what went well, what we need to fix, because at the end of the day, this is all about you and your success and achieving your goals and dreams of getting your degree, right? So the other really important thing I want to bring up is that it's so important we check in with ourselves from time to time and just kind of reflect on how things are going. It doesn't take very long. That didn't even take a couple of minutes, uh, but it can give us just like one or two things that we're like super proud of ourselves about, but it can also give us one or two things that like, hey, we might need to do some work um, just to help everything be better, right? The biggest thing is none of it matters if you don't believe in yourself. It is so important for you to 100% believe in you that you are worth this journey, that you are capable of this journey, because I'm gonna tell you, not every day is gonna be sunshine and glitter. It's just not. Not every assignment's gonna go awesome. Not every class is gonna go great. You're not gonna love every class. However, you will find lessons and values in everything that you do. And it's so important for you to remember to believe in you. Remember that you got this. Um, along those lines, you are never alone here at SNHU. You have so many resources and supports for your success. And we've talked a lot in SNH 107 about the university departments, the SNH 2 resources. And we've also talked about your social supports, those people, places, and things outside the university, right? That are there to help support your success. So just a reminder that you have to communicate for your success. 
you know, most people text message, right? <laughs> Outside of the university, you know, friends, coworkers, bosses, loved ones, we text message, we can always pick up the phone. Um, so if there's things outside the classroom that need some attention or need some extra support or a revisit, make sure that we're taking care of those things. You have to communicate for your success and share how you're feeling or what would maybe help you. But also here at SNHU, every department has an email address, every department has a phone number, right? Plus you can schedule appointments for your success. So if you're really proud of something that you did and you wanna keep that going, make sure you put the proper things in place to keep that going. If you struggled or you wanna change some things or just do something maybe a little bit better, this is the time to make those changes for your success. You know, as a reminder, we have so many resources here at the university from your instructors to your advisors, the career team, the menu of services the academic support team has, um, the learning communities and the clubs and organizations at SNHU Connect, plus the library and the help desk. And then of course, outside the classroom, you have those loved ones, those pets, um, you have the friends and family, you know, you just have all those people that are there pulling for your success. So don't forget to connect with those resources. And none of it matters if you're not taking the time to do the connecting, right? Nothing matters if you are not working to make changes. I love these quick little graphics, like nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you do the same thing, you're gonna have the same result, right? Today is the day, what are we gonna do about it? So if there's things we need to fix, there's things we need to work on, let's just dive in and get those all set and ready to go so that you can get through the term, but also set yourself up for success in the next term, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to do quickly is just run you quickly through the final project example. Last week in week six, we had kind of a deep dive of all the things to know about putting together that final project in your SNHU 107 class. I'm gonna share a classroom really quick to kind of just talk about module seven. As a reminder for SNU 107, module seven, always click through the module introduction, make sure that you don't miss any of those objectives and overviews, you know, scroll all the way down and scroll all the way over. Um, the required resources section just has some quick things for project support. Um, as you go through this week, you will notice for module seven that there is a discussion opportunity. However, it is not graded. Let me repeat that. The module seven discussion opportunity is not graded. There's no mandatory posting requirements for this discussion. Um, this is literally just a space for you to ask questions about putting together the final project. You can share tips for writing or how you put together the final project. You can even chime in and share like any helpful time management or motivational things that worked for you this term or kind of like what you think so far about what you've learned. Um, it's just a place if you feel like you want to post something, share something with your classmates that is relevant to the class or time management or the project. This is the space for it. Remember, do not post any part of your project or anything that is specific to your project in this discussion thread. That's not what it's for. It's just here to share some tips, give your feedback and your thoughts. Um, but again, it is not graded. So it is not something that you have to do, okay? I wanted to make sure that we just kind of had that quick reminder out there. But if you have some things to share and some insight, it's always great to share helpful tips with your peers because you never know what you might learn. What is due this week is your module seven final project. The time is here, y'all. <laughs> the time is here. It is a big assignment. It's worth a significant chunk of your grade. So if you remember anything, make sure you turn it in. You have worked way too hard this term. Keep showing up and submit your final project. As a reminder, when you pull up the project guidelines and rubric, it goes over like the directions and what you're doing. It's gonna list all the questions that you need to answer. And you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom for the rubric to know how you're going to be graded. But what I wanted to point out is you have a template again for this assignment. OK, just like the other assignments where you've had a template, you're going to open up. You're going to click the blue. It's where you want to go. Open up the document and you're going to be able to type right in it. The other thing I wanted to show you, though, because often students forget it is underneath supporting materials. Do you see where it says project example? Click on project example and it is actually going to pull up a whole done project. Now, I want to put a little disclaimer out there. Do not copy and paste any portion or part of this project as your own, okay? This is in every single classroom and it'll be flagged with an academic integrity concern faster than you can blink, okay? So just don't do that. You've worked too hard to have any kind of academic integrity issues. But what this example does do is it gives you an idea of how this project should be put together and how the questions should be answered, okay? 
if you want a deep dive of all of the questions and all of the things that we went through, make sure you check out that week six webinar. But as a reminder, you do have this example. Your final project is due by Sunday of module seven. OK, so just real quick, I'll give you a couple examples of how you should be answering things. As always, make sure you have your name on your assignment. Question one asks, identify a problem solving technique or method you have used in a previous situation and explain how it helped you. How might problem solving methods be different in diverse cultures or fields of work? And then another question, how can you how can effective problem solving help you in your academic journey? So you'll notice there's three actual questions in this one question. So a great idea is to either use bullets or numbers and answer each one individually. You'll notice they were written in complete sentences and each one was answered with enough detail so that the point was given across, OK? So you're going to have several questions. Make sure that you answer all pieces and parts. A common area that is missed, like for example, is this question two. Identify your learning style and explain how knowing or learning about your learning style helps support your success through the term. So you want to, again, list your learning style. So for example, this student was a read, write learning style, and then again, how it helped them. So make sure that you're doing all the pieces and parts for each question. One of the other questions I wanted to um, make sure that we scroll down to a little bit was this SNHU resources question. Um, the biggest thing is, it, is you want to make sure that you notice it says choose two SNHU resources and two social support. So you'll notice SNHU resource and who it is and why, okay, how they helped them. You'll notice down here, social support, there's two of them listed and how and who it was, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to make sure of is that back in week four, you guys wrote those um, personal academic mission statements and three short-term academic goals. It is so important that if you did really well on this assignment, you are more than welcome to just copy and paste that academic mission statement and all three goals into question six and question seven into the relevant places. Make sure you pay attention and make sure you double check that you actually copied and pasted over everything. Every term I'll have a student who did really well on the assignment and they only like share two of their goals because they didn't realize they didn't copy and paste over the third one um, or they like forgot a sentence of their mission statement. Things happen, so double check your work. The other thing is, if you had recommendations for things to add to your short term goals or things that were missing or maybe some um, feedback on your mission statement, you want to make sure that you just update those for this section. OK, so your instructor will go back and check week four um, and look and see like, oh, do they have any edits they need to make? Oh, yep, they did. They're going to pull it up and they're going to look for those changes or those updates here in your module seven project. So make sure you go back to the Grade Center and review your faculty members feedback. OK, so you're going to again go through, answer each question. The very last question is to explain what your biggest takeaway was from this course. So what is like the number one tip or strategy or thing that you learned um, that's going to help you be successful? Save it upload it to your module seven final project area. This is also a great time, like we talked about in week six, to utilize the SNHU academic support team for this project. As a reminder, where can you find them? Log into Brightspace, click on academic support. It's going to pull up the menu of services. Written feedback, you want to click on the try it now. You can upload and submit your final project draft. There'll be, a, there'll be a little questionnaire for you to select the most important area for your tutor to focus on, and you'll get feedback within 12 hours, which is really, really pretty cool. Um, if for some reason you procrastinate, you put it off, and you're not able to have time for written feedback, make sure that you review your project from top to bottom or from the bottom to the top. Um, have a loved one or a friend or family member look it over just to make sure that you have all the pieces and parts and everything makes sense. OK, it can help to have a second set of eyes on things. Um, week seven, y'all, we are getting really close to the finish line, which is super exciting. Um, and I know that there's a lot going on at the end of the term. So if you can get this project off of your to do list, it'll really help um, make your week. So just remember, use your resources if you're stuck, if you have questions, if you have specific questions about any of your assignments or pieces or parts um, of the final project, reach out directly to your instructor because they are the one that is grading you. But remember, take a deep breath and remember that you 100% got this. We cannot wait to review your final projects or one of my favorite assignments of the term. And I know that several other, other faculty members feel that way too. It's just really a great way to connect all the dots of what you've been working on and learning this term. 
um, and just put everything together into one document. Have an amazing week seven, y'all. You got this.